Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video of mine and to my entry to Rob Chapman's huge competition. Alright, so I watched Rob Chapman now for two to three years and I wanted to participate in about every contest he made so far. And I probably recorded something for about every contest as well. But then doubt struck and I deleted everything. The fact that I'm standing here for about an hour and only started now to record is not a good sign. But I won't delete this one. This one is going up to YouTube. So, what's the competition about? The competition is about writing a riff on a fretted instrument only going up to the fourth fret. So, what that means to me is that somebody should take out all the frets to somewhere over here and then play with the open strings and whatever frets he has over here. But I'm not that person, I am the person that wrote this riff. So, I might have lost my glasses there and my earplugs with the backing tracks, so I had to stop. But it's okay, I have the riff again for you and I'll show you how to play it while I'm at it. But first, if you're wondering what hides behind this terrible, terrible guitar tone, line 6, butter 4. I bought it together with this guitar, together with Beatrix, which is the favorite part of my body. Um, when I started out and I had no idea what good guitar tone is or what bad guitar tone is. Now I know that that's a no. <laughs> uh -uh. But what can you do? I can only use what I have, right? So anyway, here's the riff. Uh, I'm in drop D and a riff goes like that. And that's it. Um, it consists out of three parts. One of them is repeated, which is the first one. Uh, to play it, you start on the D string. Uh, you start on the third fret, so on the F, right? Um, you play it, you pull off to the D, and then you play the open string. Right? You do the same thing on the A string. So you play the C, pull off, play the A string. Then on the low D string, uh, you play the F. And you pull off, I think. No, you don't pull off. You uh, strum it. Uh, the open D, that is. And then, just to top it off, a D chord with your first finger on the 2nd fret, G string, and your 3rd finger, 3rd fret, on the B string. Um, I'm just mute the high E string and then hit it, I don't care how many strings it is, it all works. Right, so it goes. Alright, so, second part. Um, the second part is kind of chromatic. Uh, you start on the third fret, you play the first three strings. So, third fret, first fret, open, second fret. And you mute the first few, so you mute the first three and then just let the uh, fourth strum ring a little bit and then you repeat it. The rhythm on that is a bit funky. When I first played this riff to a metronome I had kinda issues, <laughs> but I worked it out. So 
After that, you repeat the first part again. All in all, it sounds like this. The last part. So, again, we play the first three strings. We start on the fourth fret, first fret, second fret, right? Uh, then A power chord, then open A, so just the open A string, second fret and third fret, and that's the whole riff. So last part is and that's the riff. All together it's That's it. So, do you like it? Do you don't? Let me know and I hope I see you in the next video and I hope I upload this. <laughs> I can feel the doubt, but still, I'll do this. See ya.